What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hi, how's it going? My name is Grandmaster D-Ray and today we're bringing you guys the APA Classic Season number 15, week number 2. Last week we uh, suffered a very unfortunate loss, but unshameful because it was to Panther. It was a 1-0 loss um, in his favor, so I think that we took him to the limit. I think that we did such a pretty good job, so let's hope to carry it on to this week. Um, but this time with a win, right? Mm. Got the brew in hand. Energy is inside me. Sorry my hair is all a mess. I actually just got off my day job, so bear with me a little bit. Uh, I'll try. I'll try to fix the lighting. The lighting situation is kind of eh right now, but anyway, he's waiting for us. Let's go ahead and uh, explain what we brought, why we brought it, and hop into the match. This week we're taking on Die. I'm very, very excited to take on this dude. This guy actually brought me into the APA Academy, so this is going to be super exciting. I haven't had the opportunity to play him yet, but I'm very excited to do so. He is the coach of the New Britain Rock Ruff, and he has a team consistent of Galarian Darmanitan, Terrakion, Galarian Corsola, Gastrodon, Eldegoss, Noivern, Togedemaru, Duosian, Volibi, and Marini. Thoughts on this team? He's got a lot of baby Pokemon. What that tells me is that he's going to have a lot of Eviolite users. But he also has got Terrakion. This is going to be a draft that's going to allow for post home, which means the Terrakion is indeed allowed, which is scary. I can't really go for knockoff, but it is going to have... I'm going to be packing knockoff on a bunch of different teams, so... And once we get Terrakion out of there, it's going to be smooth sailing from there, I hope. So down here is my team. This is the team matchup. Um, what I think he's going to bring... I think he brings Galarian, Darmanitan, and Terrakion. Obviously, those Pokemon are extremely terrifying. Um, he brings Corsola. I think he brings Gastrodon. I do think he brings Noivern, and the baby Pokemon of choice, I believe, is going to be either Volibee or Marini. Toga tomorrow is a maybe, and he may bring Gastrodon, but for sure, Galarian, Darmanitan, Terrakion, Noivern, Volibee. Those are the for sure's, and Galarian Corsola. I think I may have said that already. But those are the Pokemon I think he's going to bring. Now, what are we going to bring to this matchup? Please tell us, please tell us. First up, we have Waza, which is going to be Obstagoon. Obstagoon is going to be packing Life Orb this week with the Guts ability, Facade, Knockoff, Close Combat, Parting Shot. Uh, we also have Master Chu. Master Chu is running Expert Belt with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Knockoff, and Grass Knot. Uh, with the Static ability, in case I need to sacrifice it and switch it in and hopefully get a Para. We also brought Toots. Toots is making his debut this week. Toots is coming with Eviolite, Levitate ability, Sludge Wave, Pain Split, Will O' Wisp, Flamethrower. This is going to be one of my partial answers to his threats. So we'll see how this goes. So if I can Will O' Wisp them and then cripple them, we'll see how that happens. Uh, BHM is going to be our undercover. Uh, big, big help this week. So uh, hopefully this is going to turn out great. BHM is going to be running Life Orb, Analytic, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Agility. Uh, this is going to be hopefully something that catches him off guard if I can set up an agility. I actually outspeed a Choice Scarf Noivern by one point when I set up an agility. So hopefully I can bring this in late game and it can be our win con. So we will see how that goes. Arya is coming with Bright Powder, Magic Guard, Clefable. We've got Moonblast, Flamethrower, Softball, Calm Mind. Uh, Bright Powder is there because Stone Edge is very um, low accuracy and so is Hurricane. So hopefully I can bring this in and Bright Powder will help me out by him missing his moves. That's the thought process behind that. Uh, Moonblast Flamethrower does not do anything to Marini. So hopefully I can get rid of that before I have to bring in Clefable. So we'll see how that goes. And Calm Mind is there to pair with Magic Guard. So I have to worry about burns or toxics. Uh, and then we have our last mom of the squad. We have Duraludon. This is going to hopefully be the way that we have momentum on our side. Duraludon is going to come with the Choice Scarf, Light Metal, Flash Cannon, Dragapult, Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt, Stealth Rock. This is here to hopefully lead, catch him off guard. Here's my thought process. I, I hope, hope and pray that he decides to lead with Darmanitan. And if he leads with Darmanitan, I'm going to outspeed it and knock it out one hit with a Flash Cannon. Worst case scenario, he comes Choice Scarf, he goes for a U-turn and I hit whatever else that comes in. If that's the case, he won't really know that I'm Choice Scarf. I'll bluff it by waiting a little bit before switching, and I'll hopefully come in another time and knock it out. It also one-shots an Oivern, so hopefully I can catch his two, two of his uh, big threats um, off guard. Flash Cannon is also going to do a lot of work to Terrakion, so hopefully the threats can be eliminated with XYZ Dragon Cannon. I am so hyped. 
I got the game jitters. I hope you guys have the game jitters. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please do me a big favor and smash the subscribe button. Turn on the little post notifications by hitting the bell button so you guys are notified every single time that I post a video. With that being said, let's just go in and connect with this guy. So I will see you guys over there on the battle. All right, guys, so we are in the battle. Um, I am standing by waiting for die. That rhymed. Um, apologize, guys, if my lighting sucks. I'll try to fix it, I promise. But we're just uh, waiting around to see when he's going to send it over. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, are you on sports? Oh, there he is. Okay, got it. Sweet, 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 sweet. We're going to accept. Uh, I'll go back to Team Builder so I can look at that. All right, here we go. We are in the battle, boys. Yeah, boys. All right, 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 all right. I'm gonna say our good luck, have fun. Have fun, dude. Okay. So we're at team preview now. Um, I'm pretty positive that the rest of the APA is gonna wanna come in. Okay, here we go. They're in, you already posted the link. So everybody's in. Now, let's focus. Focus, focus, focus. Team preview. So, why is the game music not on? There we go. Okay. So, what did he bring? He brought Darmanitan, he brought Corsola, he brought Eldegoss, Terrakion, Gastron, and Neuvern. The threats are there. Now here's the thing. Here's the big problem. I packed Thunderbolt on a lot of Pokemon and I don't necessarily need it. That freaking sucks. I was really hoping that Marini or um, Volibee was gonna come. So I put Thunderbolt obviously on Raichu. I've got Thunderbolt on Behem and I have Thunderbolt on the Raladon. So doesn't really help me here. It's neutral on Noivern, but we'll see. So we're gonna stick with the plan. We're gonna go ahead and lead with XYZ Dragon Cannon and see if I can catch his Darmanda 10 off guard. If this works, guys, please do me a favor and smash the like button. Please, I deserve that. We're gonna lead with Duraladon. Let's just hope that this all goes to plan. Um, and here we go. So he leads with this thing. This is not what I expected. Very unfortunate. So here's the problem, right? So I'm obviously gonna expect this dude to go for a Earth Power or Earthquake, depending on what he packed. If that's the case, I think that I wanna bring in Toots, so that way I'm immune to it. But if I bring in Toots and he decides to go for a Scald, and he gets a burn, that's gonna really suck for my longevity. So this is what this is real unfortunate because I was really hoping that he was gonna leave with Darmanitan, so that didn't happen. We're gonna have to come up with a plan B. He obviously knows we're gonna switch here. This thing doesn't get Stealth Rock, so I think that he's gonna go for a Scald. But in case he goes for Earthquake, we're gonna go for Toots here. We're already on the back foot, which sucks. Here we go. All right, so he goes for Earth Power. We get Toots in for free. This is awesome, okay. So from here, I don't have Toxic on any of my mons. I would like to get some residual damage, especially if he decided to bring any kind of physical attacks. So from here, I think I'm gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp. Um, if anything else decides to come in here, that would be great. We're gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp and see what he wants to go for. So he goes for Nick. Oh, and I miss Will-O-Wisp. Right to start off the gate, he said sorry. Eh, whatever. It is what it is, right? <laughs> I have to recover from here. All right, so now this thing is here. What can you do to me? What is the plan here? So if he goes for Strength Sap right off the gate gate, going into WhatsApp is not a good idea. He can go for Stealth Rock, for sure, 100%. If he goes for a Stealth Rock, here, let's see. What we want to do, actually, what we didn't do is go over here. We're going to actually input the team. We're going to put the team right now because we don't have that on our damage calc. So let's do that right now. Thanks so much, guys, for being so patient. I appreciate you so very, very much. Where's my play here? If he goes for a Willow, it doesn't really matter for XYZ Dragon Cannon. Um, I think we go to Wessup. Let's go to Wessup. 
let's do it. Goes for stealth box, that's to be expected. So we're gonna have to deal with this for the rest of the match, which is quite unfortunate. He obviously knew that, that's why he went for stealth walk and made that a big priority. So now here's the thing, right? Um, I think I have to be a legend here. And I have to put my big boy pants on and make a big boy play. Um, if I go for a knockoff, I can really cripple this thing. But he has Terrakion there. My guess is that he's gonna bring a Terrakion now and get the boost. And if that's the case, I think I'm gonna go for a close combat. And if I go for a close combat, I really, 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 really cripple this thing. So let's see. If we go for Obstagoon. Uh, all right, let's see. Obstagoon, I have two different Obstagoons on here, which is unfortunate. All right, so we're going to go for a Terrakion. Let's just a Swords Dance set. Uh, close combat kills. Big boy play, ready? Close combat. Boom! We out here making big boy plays, baby. Oh, he lives on one! Oh! It lived! <laughs> so sad. <laughs> oh boy! Alright, so I obviously don't outspeed this thing. Um, it's gonna go for something big here. Having rocks up is quite unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate, actually. I think we're gonna bring in Arya here. And then he's gonna go for Stone Edge, which does a lot of damage. Ooh, this is a lot of damage. He's gonna kill me with another stone edge. So I have bright powder. The reason why I brought bright powder is to hopefully have him miss a stone edge. I'm hoping that that's gonna be the case here. We're gonna go for a moon blast and hopefully kill him. Can we get a miss on stone edge? Nope, not at all. He kills me. Mm, that's why we brought bright powder, baby, but it didn't work. That sucked. Okay. You know, he's going for Stone Edge over and over and over again. Now, that's going to be the straightforward play. I don't want to really I don't I don't want to reveal that I'm um I think we will master Chew here and hope that he isn't Choice Scarf. If he's Choice Scarf, he's going to show us now. Damn, this is an unfortunate game so far. We missed Will-O-Wisp on Corsola, which could have been pretty big depending on if it was physical or special. Most likely it was special, but the residual damage would have been great. He lived on one. One, which is crazy. So here's my thing. I think we go for Grass Knot, hoping that the Gastrodon comes in. Hopefully this thing isn't Scarfed. Okay, so he wanted to scout out what we're doing, so he goes for Protect. It's a good play on his part. Good play, good play, good play. So if he now knows that I'm gonna go for a Grass Knot. Did I go for a Thunderbolt here? Is there a drawback to really going for Thunderbolt? Why is my why is my mouse lagging right now? Okay. <sighs> Thunderbolt kills, 100%, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, right shoe, Master Chu set. Intended, Terrakion. Thunderbolt kills. So what's my play here? I think we go Thunderbolt, kill this thing. Okay, so he goes for this, that's fine. Get a crit, does that really matter? No, not really. So it has leftovers, I kinda wanna get rid of that. Go for a knockoff, let's do that. Let's go for a knockoff. So this probably wants to leech seed, that's fine. So now from here we're gonna Volt Switch out. These rocks are really going to come back to bite us, I think. So from here, I think this is a good opportunity for us to set up with Omnimon. Let's do that. What can you really do to us? You're a... You're a... You're an Eldegoss. Go for that, that's going to be annoying. Alright, so we're going to try to put up some big boy damage on him right away. We're gonna go for an agility and try to poke some holes. Okay. So we're trying to make some big boy plays here. This may be a little bit early, especially with Leech Seed, but here's the thing. I can hit it with a Shadow Ball and hopefully kill this thing. Um, this is gonna be a Modest La Life Orb. 
Got the shakes, guys. Got the shakes. Omnimon against Corsola. Galar blanks at, let's just say he's 252, no speed death bulk. 75 to 81, 89% if he's max HP. And you could probably do a strength zap and get that all back. So we're gonna see how this goes. Wow, he's speed death bulky. There's absolutely nothing, he's gonna go back to full. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna go to what's up here. Alright, that's immunity. Alright, perfect. So now, I'm sorry if I'm not really speaking here guys, I gotta... I'm on the back end here and I gotta make a play. So, um, last time I went for close combat and he stayed in. He, he got out. So what I should do is I should go for a knockoff here. Now, his... His, uh, Terrakian is at 26%. If we calc this, right, so if we go... Obstagoon... Against Terrakion. Um, he's probably he's got some bulk investment. He has to. Let's just say he's got like 44 in HP. Knockoff does 22 to 26 percent if he does. I think I have to go for a knockoff here. We have to. I don't have a choice. And I gotta hope to God that I kill it. Terrakion has to have some kind of bulk investment. Either that or I got a super super low roll when I ended up getting it with um, close combat before. Um, it lived, and he stayed in, strength sap, and bring me down by one, and get back to the full. Oh my lord. My lord. Fuck that thing. <laughs> oh my god, the guys are chatting in the chat right now, and um, this is just, this is ridiculous. I can't right now, we're gonna party shot out. There's nothing else I can do, this thing's gonna wall me. I have to figure out a plan to beat this thing, which is really unfortunate. Super, super unfortunate. I need to get some kind of residual damage, or we're going to toots. I think this is the best thing I could do right now. I'm special, so this isn't going to do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a Will-O-Wisp here and get some residual damage. Uh, all right, we're going to go. All right, that's perfect. So we got a Wisp off on this thing, which is great. So here's the dealio, right? So he gets the freest. Draco Meteor of his entire life. Do I need coughing? I do because he's still got Darmanitan. Do I need Raichu? Yeah, because he still has Gastrodon. Do I need Behem? Not really. No, I don't need Behem anymore because I, I saw the damage that it did to Corsola. And it's just it's just so trash. We're gonna go to Omnimon, we're gonna sack it off. So unfortunate. Goes for a boom burst. So here's the thing, right? If I go into if I go into um, Duraludon here, I think it's gonna scream that I'm Choice Scarf. It's gonna absolutely scream that I'm Choice Scarf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it wait for a little bit, and uh, we're gonna wait a little bit to make him think that I don't really have another option. And he's gonna go for Boom Burst. If he's if he's choice in whatever way, Boom Burst is the best case scenario because I actually resist it with Raladon. If he's not choice, he's gonna go for either a Draco Meteor or he's gonna go for Dragon Pulse. In which I would Choice Scarf outspeed this dude and then I would kill it. If he's Choice Scarf, he can't go for it anyway because he's in Boom Burst right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into XYZ Dragon Cannon and we're gonna hope to God that he stays in. And we're gonna go for a Dragon Pulse and kill it. Let's go, baby. Draw blood. Draw blood. So now he knows that I'm Choice Scarfed, obviously. And I just killed Noivern. This is great for us. Because now, I think that what he's going to bring in is going to bring in a uh, freaking Darmanitan. Darmanitan, I think, is going to come in here because um, either Darmanitan or Gastrodon. Here comes Darmanitan. How much damage do I do to Darmanitan? So we have Duraludon, right? We have XYZ Dragon Cannon, I'm modest, uh, against a Darmanitan, Galarian, Flash Cannon kills, Dragon Pulse does not because he's at full, which is unfortunate. Um, I think he's going to go for a U-turn here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Toots. 
Goes for Ice Punch. Oh, that does so much. That could be so gross. That is so gross. I'm gonna put you. I'm going for Willow Wisp. He's gonna kill me. Bummer. Bummer, 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 bummer. All right, so what does he resist with Flash Cannon here? So, so he put us in that sad face. I put, love you, dude, but you're a mons. Are, are gross. I have such a bad matchup this game. Dude, I know. <laughs> um, Alright, so here's the plan here. If you're Choice Scarf, do I live in Ice Punch with uh, Raichu? Let's see. Raichu. Um, probably not, to be honest with you. Darmanitan. He's got, he doesn't have Ice Crash. He's got Ice Punch. Ice Punch does 70, 92% max. How much does the Raichu have? That kills me. Oh, that's so nasty. What do I do here? We have to go Duraludon. We have to. So do we go for a Flash Cannon? Um... How much does it do to Gastrodon? I think that's the reason I'm switching to here. Um, I think I have to go for a Dragon... I have to go for a Dragon Pulse, I think. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. I think I need to make a big boy play. He knows that I kill him here, and he knows that I'm scarfed. I have to go for the straightforward play. I think I kill this thing. I have to. Just quite unfortunate. I'm gonna go for flash cannon. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that, but I can't afford him to switch in here. So here's the thing, right? I, he's gonna go for a ground. This was a. I'm on the back burner here, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, I would I wanted to go for a Dragon Pulse there. I really, really did. But the thing is that I had to do the straightforward play just in case they decided to stay in. Which is really unfortunate. If I go for Ops, if I have Ops to Goon, right? If I live in Earth Power, let's see. Gastro. You're for sure bulky, bro. You're bulky as hell. Earthquake. He doesn't have Earthquake. He has um, Earth Power. It's 26%. We could do that. Alright, we're gonna go to was up. 58% is gonna get me really low. Okay. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Alright, so from here. I think that we go for a knockoff here. Knockoff does 64 to 72% if he decides to bring in Corsola again. So we're gonna go for a knockoff, bring in Corsola. Green Corsa, baby. Let's go. Yes! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Go for a knockoff again. That thing dies. I'm so happy now. <laughs> oh, here comes this thing. Oh, no! Okay. Uh, I can't live... I can't... I can't live another... Um, Bummer. I have to sack it off here. So important. Alright, so there's that. That's fine. Alright. I don't know how much that was recorded, but we're at this part of the match here. Um, right choose up against Gastrodon. Uh, Die, if you're watching this, if you give me this Gastrodon. Okay. Thank you for that. <sighs> the 
its collapse. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, 2 0. Good game, man. Alright, I don't know. I think I may have messed up the record button, but regardless, it's GG's to uh, Diet Tight. It's gonna be a 2 0 loss. You know, the, pro the plus side about both these losses is that I'm not losing by very much. Um, these are two very, very good competitors that I played week one and week two. This whole league has a bunch of really, really good competitors. I'm really, really happy that this turned out the way that it did. Um, this team was disgusting. I, I expected more of his baby Pokemon besides Corsola to come, but that's okay. It is what it is. I over prep for them. That's fine. Um, could I have won this game? I think so, if I had picked a better lead. I honestly expected him to lead with Darmanitan, and because he didn't, um, it completely opened up the door for him. If he had led with Darmanitan, I think that I would have had this match in the bag. Um, that's just me. And say, uh, it was a great game to die. It's, we're going to drop a loss on this one. 0-2 uh, is a bad start to the season, but I have no shame. These are two really great competitors that I lost to. And I'm only down um, minus 3 differential, which is pretty great. I brought this down pretty low. And that's awesome in my opinion, so this guy's team was disgusting. So props off to him, props to Jason for um, drafting such a great team, and um, I tried my best to get it. My thoughts behind the matchup, I, I believe that I could have had a better chance if he had led with Darmanitan, that was my whole game plan, but the problem here is that he led with Gastrodon, um, and it completely threw me off, I had to switch around, and I was just on the back foot from the very beginning. I think that I clawed back pretty pretty well. Um, There's a couple different things that I could have done differently, but um, besides that, we did all we could. could. We did all we could, guys. So uh, hope you guys still follow me during the season. We're gonna go off next week and play our week three matchup. I haven't looked at the schedule just yet, but hopefully we can turn this around and get a get a win on the win column, and uh, we will go from there. So GGs to Dietite, GGs to Jason. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification um, by turning on the bell button. Hit the bell button and turn on the post notifications. I'm all over the place, guys. Let me get the heck up out of here. Have a great rest of your night. And above all else, be nice. Peace.